Fable 2 was a disappointment. On paper, it had everything a good sequel needs. Better graphics, better combat, dog, but somehow it wasn't. I remember picking up a few years ago because it seemed better than the first, a game I put about 5 hours into before the clumsy combat made me give up the mouse and keyboard combo for action games forever. So when I learned Fable 2 was Xbox only, and with my 360 gathering dust, I decided it was time to give the series another shot. $30 and 10 hours later, I told a friend Fable 2 was my favorite action RPG of all time, causing my PS3 and my copy of Oblivion to go into a depression only Liquid Snake could cure. But another three hours later, I realized I was a dumbass. Even despite its overhype and broken promises, Fable 2 is not a bad game. It's just very repetitive. Sure, there's quite a bit to do compared to the average AAA release, but when compared to other sandbox RPGs, it just doesn't stack up. Hell, you can't even call it a sandbox. When traveling Albion, you'll spend more time watching the loading screen than ever exploring the two dozen or so environments and locales. Sure, standing in the center of town, dancing, getting laid, and doing odd jobs can be fun, but it's not enough to add any real depth to the experience. At least combat is fun, except for the need to hold down the magic button to charge spells. But when you literally fight through the same enemies in the same place over and over again, you start to feel like the game is just fucking with you and artificially lengthening itself. Overall, Fable 2 is a fun game, but it will only hold your attention until the end of the main quest, with little else to do other than collect wives and pet your dog. Nah,